Hey, what's going on, everyone? I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that everyone is having a great day, and thank you for joining me for your daily dose of Star Wars. The Last Jedi is officially in theaters, but J.J. Abrams, Disney, and Lucasfilm are already looking forward to Episode 9. Laughing Places confirmed that Bob Iger revealed during a press conference yesterday on December 15th that J.J. Abrams would be pitching the story for Episode 9 today, December 16th, early in the morning. J.J. Abrams already has one Star Wars film under his belt in Star Wars The Force Awakens and is now set to direct Episode 9 after the fallout Disney and Lucasfilm had with Colin Trevorrow over disagreements with where to take the story. J.J. Abrams certainly has a lot under his belt, but he also has a lot of work ahead of him. The real life events that have put a wrinkle into the project really do make a big dent in the way that they're going to have to be forced to wrap this trilogy up. Originally, The Force Awakens was supposed to focus on Han, The Last Jedi was supposed to focus on Luke, and Episode 9 was supposed to be Leia's big time to shine. But with the passing of Carrie Fisher, this is going to have to be remedied somehow, some way. Hopefully, what they do is they take Mark Hamill, use Luke as a Force Ghost, to still have one of the big threes present. It seems though that since J.J. Abrams is already pitching this film, that he has already proposed a solution. And hopefully, it's something that will satisfy audiences because it seems that The Last Jedi is really splitting everyone into two groups. You either really like the movie or you can't stand the movie and you want to be done with Star Wars. However, J.J. Abrams is still going to direct Episode 9, but now, as opposed to Colin Trevorrow writing and directing the project, we now have Chris Terrio who has been involved in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Justice League writing with J.J. Abrams for episode 9. So this can be a good thing or bad thing depending on whether you like the DCEU thus far. A lot of people thought that BBS was too dark and a lot of people thought that Justice League was a good step forward but still wasn't exactly what fans wanted. So hopefully this is remedied by the time episode 9 comes out and hopefully it didn't have anything to do with the writing that Chris Terrio had done. The last installment in this new sequel trilogy is supposed to start shooting in June of 2018 and we are still expecting to bring back obviously Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Adam Driver, Oscar Isaac, and thankfully Mark Hamill to return for the final installment in the sequel trilogy. The film isn't scheduled to hit theaters up until December 20th, 2019, so we have currently more than that two year wait, but for now, we will all have to make peace with The Last Jedi and the split between the film and its fans and hope that J.J. Abrams can unify all of the fans once again for the final installment of the Skywalker family saga. It's not just the end of the sequel trilogy, but it's the end of the Skywalker storyline, hopefully just for now. Kathleen Kennedy wants to focus on other Star Wars stories, including the anthology films likely an Obi-Wan film later in the future, as well as Ryan Johnson's trilogy non-Skywalker oriented. That wraps things up for me here in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you're a daily coffee drinker or want to become one, be sure to hit that bell down there to receive a notification on your iOS or Android device the second a new video goes live. Thank you guys for watching. As always, keep loving Star Wars and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.